All right, good day, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. My name is Chief Dog A4, and let's go into this one then. So yeah, we're just in the garage here, I'm about to roll out. Of course, as you can see, um, oh excuse me, um, we don't really get uh, much color choice with this car, but that does not matter because we're about to do the burning route for this car. Um, of course. I'd highly recommend that you check out the other previous videos before watching this one in this series because we're on episode 5. Um, yeah, math, math is math, and we're on episode 5. Ooh, okay, super jump. What a fail, what a fail, lovely, okay. Yeah, you, you don't say. Um, <laughs> bit smashed up now, aren't we? But it doesn't matter because we're doing a burning route, so we we don't need we don't need um, strength. Anyway, in today's episode, we are planning to do the burning route for this car and the other one we got last episode, which also looked like a Mitsubishi. Um, and then we are going to do a road rage in the weakest car I could find um, or can find because I haven't done it yet <laughs> get your tenses right down but um, yeah let's let's head on over then we are almost here for the burning route um, so if you're unaware of what a burning route is it's pretty much just a time trial uh, and if you beat the time trial, because you have to be in a certain car uh, for that time trial, then uh, you get the upgraded version of it. So, you are here. Race south to Lone Stallion Ranch. Beat the oh come on! on I thought this was going to be interesting. Reward. I thought we were going to the the dock. We're not. We're going to the in Lone Stallion Ranch. It's just easy. Ranch? Like <laughs> not ranch. Ranch. Anyway. Let's head on over then, 3 miles, this should be an absolute cakewalk, um, just straight roads and there's the shortcut as well, because they're probably not going to factor in the fact that there's a shortcut, which I mean I barely ever go down the normal road, um, you'll see what I mean once we get there. But it's just the shortcut is so obvious to take. It's like, does anyone actually? I bet that's one of the most unused. What? <laughs> I bet that's one of the the yeah the most unused roads in a uh, in Burnout Paradise. Because uh, you just you just why why would you ever go anywhere else apart from straight on? Just, well, unless you're doing a drift, I guess. But if you're in a stunt, you'd rather do the, the jump than that, wouldn't you? Anyway, who cares? We beat it quite easily by over like 50 seconds, pretty much. So, easy dubs. Come on, give me a challenge. You made it. As a reward, the Hunter Reliable Special is going to the junkyard. Swing by to check it out. I will swing by to check it out. The Watson R Turbo Roadster Ooh, okay. is now on the streets of Paradise City. If you see it, shut it down to add it to your car collection. I mean, I'm acting like it's a, a brilliant car. It's, I, I don't really remember much about it. I don't really ever use it, so. But it does look like a race car, so maybe we. Maybe we. I mean, depending on the strength, maybe we'll use it for, um, for the challenge that we've set ourselves for later on. Uh, maybe it could be a good car for that, but I mean, it looks pretty. Nah. We just gotta find it. Hopefully, we find it along on our way over here. But oh, why are you going the wrong way? If you remember what happened last time, though, then you'll know that we went on an absolute wild goose chase just to be in this car. So oh. There it is, crash at the side of the road, of course. Where is this car? Just, come on, just spawn. Spawn and let me crash. Oh, there you are. Never mind. Never mind. 
What am I saying? I can't speak. Oh my days. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you are. Oh, there we go. Come here. Got ya. The Watson R Turbo Roadster has been delivered to your junkyard. Good stuff. All right. Now we can head back to the junkyard. Um, and I guess we'll fix the uh, the new, not the the one we just smashed, but the um, the one that we won. We'll get that car fixed as well. Um, and then we'll do the other burning route. We'll go back, fix both of those cars, and then use the other car um, that we just got potentially if it's uh, got very low strength. But that was the uh, reliable car. I can't remember the name. There's the R Turbo Roadster. Pretty all right looking car. A reliable special, I see. And it's got a point extra and boost, so you know, clearly a, a, a great car. And it's got, a, if you can tell, if we get into the light, it's got a tiger on the back and a bunch of scratch marks all over it. It's quite a weird livery, to be honest, but um, it's quite cool to see it restored. Uh, like without the graffiti or the rust and stuff, I think that's quite cool. Anyway, back to the junkyard. What other? So we need to do the burning route through this car, this car, and this car. Okay. We might have to do eventually just an episode where we just do burning routes. And uh, I mean, sure, we'll stick with that colour, I guess. Um, but yeah, we might have to do a burning route where we just, a burning route episode, should I say, where we just go through and get a bunch of these cars out, because otherwise it's going to start piling up a bit, and then, and then we're in trouble. But of course, the, uh, the amount of cars you get sort of slows down as you get later on into the game. Um, so, um, yeah. There's, there's that. Let's hit this jump though. Delightful. Round 10 super jumps. Achievement completed. And then we want to take uh, this left. Swing it. Ooh, that was sick. Well done to uh, Burnout Paradise for um, for put, putting them cars in, because that made it cool. That was not so cool. Land? Oh no, come on, I could drive back. It's all about burning rubber oh. and gasoline in Paradise City, but it's not like we don't care about the environment. Check out True. those wind turbines up in the mountains. That True. wind farm is one of our event destinations here in Paradise City. So it you'll is. be seeing a lot of that if you're going for the Burnout Elite license. I am. That's the goal. That's the end. End of the game is to get the Burnout Elite license where you've... Oh, for goodness sake, man. When you've... Um... Jesus, okay. <laughs> that is when you've uh, done... You got through a license, what is it, like, provisional, and then D, C, B, A, and then is it S, and yeah, S is just super license, yeah, but super license S requires you to do every single uh, event, obviously excluding burning roots, because once you've done a burning route, you don't have to redo it. Get ready for a burning route. You oh come here. on! Why? Why Play so easy? Beat the time to get a mark I can literally license. visualize where I'm gonna go. It's two miles. <laughs> oh fellas, this is. I, I mean, I get it's the start of the game, but come on. Give me a challenge. This is gonna be so easy. You just gotta turn down here. Whack on the boost. Take this to. Grab 
Oh! A shortcut. And then head down here, across all of these roads and bridges. Keep going. Keep going still. We're still going, fellas, believe it or not. Start boosting. Start boosting. Keep going. And then at the next junction, we're going to take a right. Swing right. Oh, I didn't need to go down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The pressure's on. Can he make it in 20 seconds? Not with that sort of driving. There we go. Oh my god, the pressure's on. Will he make it? Yeah, he will. Of course I will. Five burning routes done. That is another achievement, apparently. Interesting. Seven wins left until we level you up. That car like a seasoned pro, so you've been of course I did. A special version of it. The Catano Hydrus Techno is yours. Yeah, a bit of a, a weird car, isn't it? Um, anyway, let's head... So where's... Uh, nearest drunk? Oh, it's this way, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll meet you once we're... Um, once we're back. So the difference in performance here is nothing. Okay. I guess I was wrong. I mean, some cars do have better performance once they're... You got the burning root version, but others, I guess, is just cool liveries, which is arguable depending on whether you think this livery is uh, is cool or not. But anyway, we're we're nearing the uh, repair station. Take a, a left here and a, a right up here, and fixed. And then we'll head back and fix the other car up. Oh, it's a stunt car, okay. Uh, its strength looks quite low, so this car is also is quite low. Uh, yeah, the least strength we have is free, so any of these cars with free uh, strength will do the job. So we've already been in that car a bit, so we'll just we'll use the new car, I guess. Uh, I'll fix it, colour it, and then we'll do a road rage. Sounds really, really funky. <laughs> and yeah, it's very. Oh, oops. Well, we've literally gone into the the, the repair shop, so there they go. I mean, we'll see what the um, we'll see what the the uh, paint shop. I don't know what you call it. The paint drive-through gives us. You know what? That's acceptable. It's it's a bit weird, but it's acceptable. So, uh, yeah, let's find a Road Rage to do. Would a Mark Man be tougher? No, because this car could just outrun the Mark Man, whereas in Road Rage you have to actually um, hit people, so. Let's just, um, just go through here. This Five takedowns, please! Rage. Take okay. And yes, I am aware that it does sort of scale to your car in terms of strength. So we've got all of these cars, which uh, I guess some of you won't actually have seen yet. But um, yeah, these cars are all quite weak. So I get that it scales it, but still, that's a bit of jeopardy. They were already at the halfway, halfway point. You, sir, are in the wall. Take that. And let's get number four, please. There we go. So, uh, yeah, conclusion. 
Um, I'm just too good at this game, obviously. No, it's just very easy right now. Um, but the game will, I, I promise it does ramp up in difficulty as you get further along. Um, because you get access to better cars, but so do the AI. Oh my god. The target gets uh, increased, so the max target for takedowns um, that I'm aware of in uh, oops uh, in um, in Road Rages is 40. So we're on four right now. Eventually, it gets to 40. Of course, every time you get a takedown while you're going for your target, you get more time. So um, yeah, you can have. There's there's been times where I've um, I've just had a good session and I've gone up to like 40 seconds for um Ooh, lordy dordy do um, <laughs> I've gone up to 40 seconds for um 40 seconds? 4, four minutes, that's what I meant I've gone up to 4 minutes for um, the amount of time that I've had um Ooh, that was stupid <laughs> Oof Um I've gone up to four minutes sometimes for the amount of extra time damage critical already, but uh, I guess we'll just try and make it our mission to stay alive until the end. But if we do crash out now, it is not the end of the world because we have done the target. So, um, yeah. He's dead. There's a racetrack behind there as well, like a little dirt track. Um, in fact, I may as well just do a few laps on it to show you it, because I've spent ages around here, around around here, around there. And I'm just going around in circles, because um, it's like an overall, uh, overall, oval. No, not oval. Figure of eight. That's it. O uh, yeah, figure of eight. <laughs> uh, it's a figure of eight track. So it's actually quite fun, um, but um, yeah, easy dub, very easy dub. Don't know what my wheels are doing, doing a bit of a shuffle there, but um, yeah, let's let's go to the, the to the um, the uh, the track. Wondering what you folks used to find your way around Paradise City. Me? I only ever use the compass, but I know some guys who wouldn't be able to get to the end of the street without using their mini map. You know, work out what's best for you and just stick with it. Well, as someone who's got hours and hours and hours on this game, I can tell you I don't need the map, but I do sometimes look at it. Anyway, this is the this is the track here. Um, it's quite hidden and it's quite cool. So it's got this massive banking and then sometimes I like to do this and hope that I land this time I didn't but um, yeah it's quite fun to just go around there and then you go back over to here and spin yourself round again more just keep going along this banking keep going round and then there's the uh, uh, entrance slash exit again. And this is the bridge that you go over to go back around. So you just keep going around like this. And yeah, I used to go on this for just ages at a time. Not even doing any like crashing, just getting into like um, some of the faster cars that you'll see towards the end of the game. And just going around in this dirt overall, over and over and over again. Um, is quite I found it quite fun um, it wouldn't be the most entertaining video though so I'm gonna call it there guys but um, yeah if you did enjoy this video then you can go ahead and hit the like button uh, comment anything you enjoyed below of course as usual um, subscribe uh, if you enjoy all of my content and you want to see me make more um, subscribe and believe it or not does help the channel and does uh, of course uh, improve my motivation to make more videos so if you want more videos then that is the that is a good idea um, but anyway enough waffling until then it's been Chief 24 and I'll see you guys in the next video